to the 30 days AI challenge where literally I try to teach you how to train your own AI. Now, if you have any doubts, you can check out my live classes or you can just ask it in the live chat. I'm right here with you guys. Also, join our WhatsApp community, like so more people can know about this and share. That's it. Let's play. So now for images, we will be using, can you guys guess which model we are going to use to fine tune? Flux. Flux. Who said that? Who said that? Me, Zanisha. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So yes, as you can read here, Flux is written here. We will be using this model and fine tuning it. So as you can see here, Flux is also written here, right? So Laura, can you guys remember what Laura is? I told today and yesterday too. Anyone who can say who what Laura is? I think I think you, there's a lot of disturbance in the sound. No problem. Anyway, I'll explain. So Laura is the process of ta taking like an AI brain, okay, and changing and replacing a certain part of that brain, right? That is the process. So here, what it means is that we are going to train flux with the Laura method. Uh, like take the flux model, train it with the LoRa method. Is that clear? Basically taking a certain part of the brain, adding more information. Now here, what you can do first, we have to select the model. So I'm just going to select all the rockstar slash thumbnail. But here you can create new and you can put a thumb a name. So I'm just going to create something new. What should I name it? It's going to be my pictures, obviously. Name it Pepe. Pepe. Okay, I like Pepe. that. Name it Weaselton. <laughs> okay, I like... Wait, uh, Weaseltail, bro. It's too long. Something short. I'm just going to name it this P-E-P-E, -E, Pepe. I'm going to put this public. Now, we need to... Guys, make sure you guys make it private or if you make it public, people can just make you do anything. Like put you in space and or people can create deep fakes of you. So, make sure you guys put it as private, okay? But for this, I'm just going to show you guys, okay? Now, I want to show you guys. the. I have a few pictures of me. Don't laugh at it, okay? So, I, uh, I have a few pictures. So, here. There's a lot of weird pictures of me, okay? I think I have... How many pictures do I have here? I have 191 pictures, okay? I just got a lot of them. They are too weird. Some are really good. Some are really weird, okay? So... What I'm going to do is train this model with, you have to be different. Don't do, uh, train this model with my face, okay? So, you are not supposed to just take five, 10 pictures in the same position. No, the model needs to know different angles. The top, down, face, down, everything, right? So, as you can see, I'm going to take one picture of me, okay? This is me being like, hi, okay? I don't know. Okay. Now, if you scroll a bit down, you will find another picture of me. Let's say this is another expression. This is just part of one of my reels. Me being like, why? Okay. We are having different, different expressions of me. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take another picture. Okay. I'm going to delete this because it's, I'm having something. But in short, we need a lot of pictures of me doing like weird stuff. Okay. So here is another one of my pictures, just smiling, okay? So as you can see, I have a lot of pictures doing weird stuff. This is for thumbnail I did, I guess, okay? So as you can see, this is another picture. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop showing my pictures and bore you guys. But in short, I have a lot of pictures, different angles of me and all, okay? This is like when I was really young, really young, okay? So, I have a lot of pictures of me here, okay? Even me coming from school, just smiling. I'm going to stop showing my pictures, okay? <laughs> okay? So, in short, what, uh, what we are going to do is that take these pictures and train the model. So, you can see there are different angles, not just one picture, right? So, here is, I'm even having food here. So, this is better because it knows how I have food. The more pictures you have, the better. So, the model knows how you look, okay? So, as you can see, what we have to do is, we have to right click, okay? And then, 
click on compress to and zip now for the people using mac and all they can also convert it to zip similar to this okay just search on google and compress to and click on zip so once you do that you will have like a zip lock kind of thing okay the thing is that this is less gb so ai likes it when it is this i'm just going to cancel it because we don't need it right now oh uh, because i think i've already have one yeah this one so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click here okay and i'm going to select this the zip one can you see, see the zip right not the normal one because that it won't accept we need to see as you can see here it needs a zip file right now what is going to be the trigger word i'm going to keep the trigger word as raul so the trigger word oh no 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 oh god okay i accidentally click on enter okay it, it didn't we are lucky we are lucky guys so i just have to write this again so if you click on enter it will start training it so ai stuff guys ai stuff okay so you have to be really be focused okay so a fun fact i just have to say it right now i forgot to say it. the website we are training the model is similar to google collab okay we are using something known as replicate okay this is much easier than google collab now i'll tell you the reason you can do similar stuff in google collab is you have to do a lot more coding but i'll tell you the advantage of this and one disadvantage is you have to pay two dollars for training a model so and each time you create a picture i think 10 cents it's like 50 paise for us see that is a problem it's not free but it's really cheap for the process it's much simpler right that's the advantage of this i didn't want a lot of stuff to go in your brain right now make it too complicated now so i'm gonna choose a trigger word here so trigger words are basically words so whenever i say so for example we tell a model a dog in space right so when you replace dog with raul right a uh, raul in space we need to tell it what raul is right we need to tell what these images is who is in the images that is the trigger word whenever we use that image it's supposed to create pictures with that i just saw a question so i'm just going to say this this and all it will do on its own steps we'll just give a thousand laura thousand now again coming back to our old friend hugging face okay like i said hugging face olama is going to be our friends forever guys okay now once you create the picture you need to upload it somewhere right so where are you going to upload it right just like before we are going to go to hugging face hello hugging face how are you okay so here you have a lot of data sets right you can see here so how we created the data set before we upload stuff is click on profile and under here you will see new data set okay and here you can just type in the name and once you type in the name so we i'm just going to do the same thing pepe right once you type in pepe and you create the data set here also make sure you do it pub, uh, private it will upload it so i have already done it with all my pictures and all right i have already uploaded it here my uh, model so as you can see as by the way guys sorry not data set it's a model we are creating right just like we created with olama the marvel model this is not data set we are not giving it examples of my picture that we uploaded from my computer as a zip file right here we need the model to be saved somewhere right just like we saved it on olama right just like that we need to save it right so that is why we are using this now yeah. you're hugging face just like before we need to give your token so remember before in this we gave it this token right this token so we need to tell it with our account it is right so we need to control c and come here and paste that so i'll tell you how to take tokens okay <music> thank you so much for joining into this 30 day ai challenge hope you are able to learn something from this now you have to re-watch this understand the concepts again watching this once won't kind of help you now if you missed any sessions do watch those as well anyway thank you for joining thank you for supporting my mission in teaching you guys AI. 
another person who is supporting me is oxygen because there is a lot of cost to do all this and i just want to thank oxygen for supporting us doing all this now if you want awesome phones awesome laptops awesome washing machines that even has ai and stuff i don't know it's crazy i've gone to their showroom it has an apple store vibe right so check it out love oxygen you guys already know i don't have to explain a lot that's it do join tomorrow thank you my name is rahul you're watching rahul the rockstar and i I'm signing out.